Hello everyone. Hi, Alan here. Sorry for the weird angle, but uh, the, I, this is uh, the best lighting I could find at the moment. And I wanted to uh, knock this tag out because I know it's because I missed the last tag Tuesday. I always have to explain myself on these tags Tuesdays because sometimes I do them on Saturdays. But uh, I rarely do tag Tuesday on Tuesday. And I've explained it myself at infinitum <laughs> that before. Because Saturday I tag so you can do them on Tuesday. But if I'm tagged, like Hannah tagged me, Hannah at Hannah's Books, link below. This original tag is from uh, 2018, and it was by Mr. Mark Nash. I'll put his original link below. Um, and it's an interesting tag, but Hannah is such a kind person. Uh, go back and watch her tag. And I, I have uh, an idea. I'm going to tag some people. Uh, I'll do it right now. Like uh, Ramsey at Rajathan. I'm going to tag uh, Celia at Celia. And um, Amy at From the Dusty Bookshelf. I don't think she's done this. So I'll take those three people. Uh, and it's a. I'll be mentioning other booktubers in this. And I, I have the books to hold up now. Uh, some of them. Anyway, let's get on with this tag. And it's uh, the last 10 books tag, right? One, prompt one, the last book you didn't finish. And this is like an admit, I'm getting a lot off my chest with this tag too. I did not finish Near to the Wild Heart by Clarice Lispector. And I was in a group with uh, the fellows at uh, Codex Cantina, Una and Crypto, uh, and Roz at Scaldanaline about the books. And due to uh, circumstances, I never finished. I was up to uh, 143. Which one was that, you guys? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, that was uh, Lydia. So I, I get to reread this. And I look forward to it. I have some other Lispector books I haven't read yet either. But we're doing a tag. Prompt two. The last book you reread. And that was Scar Lover from, uh, by Harry Cruz. And I read, re, it was a buddy read with uh, Brian at Bookish. I reviewed that, and he did too. Um, and we both enjoyed it, and I was glad to turn him on to it. And I'm, Brian appears in a uh, in Prop 9 again, so I'm going to talk about Brian at Bookish some more. Um, three, the last book you bought. And hardcover, Midworld by Alan Dean Foster. And uh, this is one of uh, Todd's favorite uh, books, Todd the Librarian. He turned me on to this book, so uh, I'll be reading this. Uh, four, the last book you said you read but didn't. Okay, there's another confession. Last October, everyone was, uh, that was uh, uh, supposed to read Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. And I had it, and I was reading it. Um, it was a library book, but I did not finish it. I was enjoying it, but I had a very bad 2020, and uh, I did not finish that. So I'll have to reread that for this October. Uh, five, the last book you wrote in the margins of. Look at this old beat-up Signet Classic Shakespeare Sonnets. And I'm following along with uh, Too Tight Lettrec. And we're on 34, I think. So, yeah, I've got, you know me, I've got annotations all over. Um, six, the last book you had signed. Now, this is not the book, but it was uh, James Lee Burke did a tour of uh, the country for one of his books, Dixie City Jam, a Robo Show book. Uh, and I, I got it signed it, and I uh, got my picture taken with him. He signed uh, all my uh, Burke books, but uh, he's one of my favorite crime writers, crime fiction writers. And Roz, again, skeletonaline about the books, and I buddy read this. And I'll probably review it. I don't review all the, book, the books I read, you know. I really don't. Um, seven, the last book you lost. Ooh, and this was the time um, of October again. Someone, uh, and it was my personal book. I had a, a Barnes & Noble copy. Really nice book of uh, Charles Dickens' 
great expectations. So I, you know, I was in the middle of that. Whew. Prompt eight, the last book you had to replace. And I had to think about this, and it has to be Don Gifford's Annotations in Ulysses. Because uh, a lot of, some of my choice books, like, uh, I'm not going to get into it, or in boxes in Toledo still. Don't, don't get me started. <laughs> Number nine. See, I thought I was over, over that. Now I'll be dwelling on that for... No, I won't. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. The last book you had an argument over. And at first I thought it was uh, Ohio with Brian at Bookish. And then, it, no, it had to be we got in an argument over Ulysses, too, last year? No, 2019. No, it was last year, I'm sorry, over Ulysses. But yeah, Brian and I got into an like, argument over Ohio. Remember that book? And I, maybe I should have reread that <clears throat> or try to. I didn't like it. I'm from Ohio. I thought it was full of tropes. And, but yeah, Brian and Bookish was my last argument. Uh, Ten. The last book you couldn't get a hold of. Uh, Cicely Tyson's uh, new one. Just as I am. I'm trying to get the audio because she reads it herself. And I can't wait to uh, read that book. I've got a hold on it from the library. I'm a big Miles Davis fan. so I'm, And also, you know, and her, a fan of hers too, her acting and, and her history. She only lived to be, what, 94? Cheers, Cicely Tyson. And that's the tag. So, and I already tagged the people. So, I'm out. Peace out.